Hello, my dear children. I welcome you all to English grammar class. And the topic that we are going to learn and understand today is quite interesting. The name of our topic is sentences. Yes, chapter two in English grammar sentences. After hearing the word sentence, the first question that comes to our mind is, what is a sentence? You have learned and studied about sentences in class two as well, so you can recall it easily. What is a sentence? Sentence is a group of group of words. Sentence is a group of words. Okay. Anything else we can add on it? Anything else that we can add? Yes. Sentence. A sentence has a proper meaning or sense. So, a sentence, a complete sentence, has a proper meaning as well as sense. So, I can say a sentence have complete meaning it has a complete meaning okay aur koi baat jo aapko yaad aa rahi hai regarding sentence or sentence sentence is a group of words okay fine it has complete meaning correct anything else a sentence always ends with a full stop or question mark or exclamation mark depending upon the requirement of the sentence if we are asking a question we put a question mark at the end of a sentence if uh, the sentence is complete in itself we put a full stop if the sentence is expressing happiness sadness surprise so it ends with an exclamation mark so depending upon the sentence it varies so it ends with full stop full stop or question mark question mark or exclamation mark nation mark so now we can see sentence is a group of words next it has a complete meaning and it ends with a full stop or a question mark or with an exclamation mark okay so let's take an example example i in delhi live i in delhi live so here you can see this is also we can say it is a sentence okay now check check this sentence whether it is correct or not whether we can call it a sentence or not so we are going to check it okay so group of words sentence is a group of words okay so here you can see this is a word this is also a word this one is also a word so yahan par bhi aap group of words dekh sakte hain so ye wali category to fulfill ho gayi okay next is complete meaning okay so read it i in delhi live i in delhi live so does it make any sense aapko koi sense nazar aa raha hai isme koi meaning dikh raha hai i in delhi live aapko samajh mein aa raha hai ma'am kya bol rahi hai ye kya kehna cha rahi hai 
क्या आप इसका मीनिंग निकाल पा रहे हैं आई इन डेली लिव दिस इज इन करेक्ट बिकॉज वी आर नॉट एबल टू गेट द मीनिंग इन करेक्ट मैनर ओके सो दिस इज इन करेक्ट सो दिस कैटेगरी रिमेन्स अनफुलफिल्ड ओके दिस कैटेगरी इज नॉट फुलफिल्ड कंप्लीट मीनिंग इट डजेंट हैव एनी कंप्लीट मीनिंग I in Delhi live. No. Okay. So let's take an another example. So this this is not a sentence. This is not a sentence. Let's take one more example. So this is not a sentence. My name is Aditi. My name is Aditi. Okay, this is this is first example. This is second example. My name is Aditi. Okay, so it also contains group of words. And here you can see my is a word, name is a word, is is also a word, and Aditi. It's a noun. It's the name of a person. So. ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स आर देयर सो ये वाली कैटेगरी फुलफिल हो गई ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट कैटेगरी इज कंप्लीट मीनिंग सो डज द सेंटेंस गिविंग अस अ कंप्लीट मीनिंग और कंप्लीट सेंस माय नेम इज अदिति क्या आप समझ रहे हैं कि मैम क्या कह रही है यस मैम कह रही है मेरा नाम अदिति है माय नेम इज अदिति सो दिस कैटेगरी आल्सो गॉट फुलफिल्ड ओके दिस वन गॉट फुलफिल नेक्स्ट वन इज एवरी सेंटेंस ईच कंप्लीट सेंटेंस एंड विद अ फुल स्टॉप और क्वेश्चन मार्क और एन एक्सक्लेमेशन मार्क सो हेयर यू कैन सी दिस इज अ कंप्लीट सेंटेंस ओके माई नेम इज अदिति सो इट इज एंडिंग विद अ फुल स्टॉप सो दिस कैटेगरी ऑल्सो गॉट फुलफिल्ड नाउ टेल मी आप मुझे बताएंगे विच वन इज अ सेंटेंस इनमें से हम किसको सेंटेंस बोल सकते हैं यस माई नेम इज अदिति द सेकेंड वन इज अ कंप्लीट सेंटेंस दिस वन इज नॉट बिकॉज इट हैज इट हैव वेरियस इट हैज वेरियस ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स बट इट इज नॉट गिविंग अस अ कंप्लीट मीनिंग और कंप्लीट सेंस आई इन डेली लिव नो बट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू रीअरेंज द ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स प्रेजेंट इन एग्जाम्पल वन लुक केयरफुल Now I'm going to rearrange it. Okay, मैम को रीअरेंज करेंगे जो वर्ड्स हैं यहाँ पर ओके नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू राइट इट आई लिव इन डेली नाउ अब आपको उसका मीनिंग समझ में आ रहा है आर यू एबल टू गेट द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस सेंटेंस आई लिव इन डेली येस सो आफ्टर रीअरेंजिंग दी वर्ड्स फ्रॉम दिस Example one, I've written, I live in Delhi. Now, this is a sentence. This is a complete sentence because it has a group of words. It has group of words like live in Delhi. These are the group of words. Also, it has complete meaning. I live in Delhi means it means me Delhi me rehti hu. I live in Delhi. And it's ending with a full stop because it is a complete sentence so every complete sentence ends with a full stop or a question mark or with an exclamation mark so this is a complete sentence so it's ending with a full stop so now we can call this one a complete sentence because yahan par group of words bhi hai ye sentence hame meaning bhi de raha hai a complete meaning a complete sense bhi de raha hai and the third one is ye full stop ke sath एंड हो रहा है सो हमारी तीनों कैटेगरीज फुलफिल हो गई सो दिस बोथ आर कंप्लीट सेंटेंसेस नाउ ओके आई होप कि आपको ये क्लियर हो गया है नाउ इट इज क्लियर टू यू व्हाट इज अ सेंटेंस ओके लेट्स टेक फ्यू मोर एग्जांपल्स फॉर बेटर क्लैरिटी ऑफ द कांसेप्ट ओके सो हियर यू कैन सी नाउ सेंटेंस Group of words. Sentence is a group of words. It has a complete meaning, and it 
a complete sentence always ends with a full stop or a question mark or exclamation mark. Okay, let's take few more examples. Example 1. My mother is a Okay, so let's take few more examples. My mother is a teacher. My mother is a teacher. So now here you can see, here are the group of words you can see. My mother is A. A is a letter, okay? And this is also word, okay? So, my mother is a teacher. Aap group of words dekh sakte hai par? My mother is teacher. So, these are the group of words. Okay, so sentence mein group of words hota hai. Correct. Next one is complete meaning. So, my mother is a teacher. Meri mummy, meri mother, teacher hai. So, is ka meaning hume clear ho gaya? This sentence is giving us a complete meaning, a complete sense. It's saying, my mother is a teacher. Meri mother teacher hai. Okay. The next one is, it should be ending with a question mark or with an exclamation mark or with a full stop. So here, it's ending with a full stop. So three, humare jo three categories hain, wo fulfill ho gai. So this is a sentence. Okay. To koi bhi aisa group of words, any group of word, group of words, which gives us a complete sense, a complete meaning and ends with a question mark or exclamation mark or with a full stop. So those group of words are called sentences. Okay. So the first one is my mother is a teacher. Let's take another, another example. Second one is what is your favorite what is your favorite color now you can see here in the second sentence group of words aapko dikh rahe this one these one what is your favorite color these all are the words so, group of words, you can see here. Now, what is your favorite color? What is your favorite color? Okay. So, ye padkar aapko, ye aapko sun ki, what is your favorite color? Meaning samaj me aara hai? Aapko sentence ka sense samaj me aara hai? Ye kya kya rahe? Ki aapka favorite color kya hai? Somebody is asking you, what is your favorite color? Okay. Someone is asking you, what is your favorite color? Aapka favorite color kya hai? So, iska hume sense samaj me aara hai? Meaning samaj me aagya? Okay, now it's ending with a question mark because when we ask a question, we put a question mark at the end of the sentence. Okay, so what is your favorite color? Where do you live? What are you doing? So these are the questions. So it's ending with a question mark. So koi bhi sentence, jab wo complete hota hai, to wo full stop ke saath, question mark ke saath, ya exclamation mark ke saath end hota hai. Right? So Three categories fulfill ho gai. Group of words bhi hai. Meaning bhi hume pata chal raha hai ki sentence ka meaning kya hai. Sense kya hai. Aur ye end ho raha with a question mark. So this is also a sentence. Let's take other examples. Okay, so the third one is, here you can see, hooray, we won the game, hooray, we won the game. So, here you can see, ye sunkar aapko koi meaning samaj maaya, 
यस समन इज एक्सप्रेसिंग हिज हैप्पीनेस जब हम हैप्पीनेस शो करते हैं जब हम बहुत एक्साइटेड होते हैं बहुत खुश होते हैं तो वी से हो रहे ये पी यस सो सम वन इज एक्सप्रेसिंग हिज हैप्पीनेस और हर हैप्पीनेस वी वन द गेम हम गेम जीत गए सो हेयर यू कैन सी ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स ओके दिस वन इज आल्सो अ वर्ड इट इज अ वर्ड वन इज अ वर्ड द इज अ वर्ड गेम इज आल्सो अ वर्ड सो हेयर यू कैन सी दीज आर द ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स इट्स ऑल्सो गिवन आर्ट्स अ कंप्लीट मीनिंग हमें इसका मीनिंग समझ में आ रहा है हुर वे यू वन द गेम ओके सो और इट्स इट्स एंडिंग विद अ फुल स्टॉप ऑल्सो सो ऑल द कैटेगरीज आर फुलफिल्ड दिस वन इज ऑल्सो अ सेंटेंस ओके नेक्स्ट वन इज ओके लेट्स टेक फ्यू मोर एग्जाम्पल्स I have a pet. Okay? मेरे पास पेट है हम सबके पास कोई ना कोई पेट होता है एट होम सो आई हैव अ पेट सो दिस इज अ स्मॉल सेंटेंस इट्स एंडिंग विद अ फुल स्टॉप इट्स गिवन अस अ कंप्लीट सेंस अ मीन एंड एंड इट ऑल्सो हैव वर्ड्स इट ऑल्सो कंटेन्स ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स सो दिस इज ऑल्सो अ सेंटेंस ओके सो आई होप द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ सेंटेंस इज क्लियर टू यू नाउ नाउ वी आर प्रोसीडिंग विथ जम्बल सेंटेंसेस ओके ओके सो हेयर यू कैन सी सम ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स यू कैन सी टूडे हैप्पी आई फीलिंग वेरी आम अब दीज आर दी जम्बल वर्ड्स ओके अब आपको इनको रीअरेंज करना है to give it a complete sense a complete meaning okay so here the answer will be i am feeling very happy happy today okay so i am feeling very happy today so this is a complete sentence kyunki isme group of words bhi we can see we can see group of words we can see that this sentence is giving a complete meaning a complete sense and also it is ending with a full stop the other example second one is flying birds the sky in on okay so again the jumble words are here now make it a complete sentence kya answer hoga iska sochiye The answer will be birds birds are flying are flying in the in the sky okay birds are flying in the sky Next one is good Radhika a student is okay so good radhika a student is this ka sentence kya hoga correct sentence what will be the correct sentence radhika 
Radhika is a good student. Radhika is a good student. Correct? I hope you will understand it. These are the jumble sentences. Okay, so here you can see the words are where you going are. This ko hab hum complete sentence mein kaise banayenge? Where you going are? How I'm going to make it in a complete sentence? I'm going to write where are you? Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, so where are you going? Is this a statement or a question? Yes, statement or a question? It's a question. So I'm going to end this question sentence with a question mark. Okay, so where are you going? This is a complete sentence because it has a group of, group of words. Next, it is giving us a complete meaning, a complete sense. Also, it's ending with a question mark. Okay? Okay, so the next one is Okay, so ma'am, what can you What a dress pretty. What a dress pretty. So, here we have a words words. Now, you can think that we can correct meaning in a correct sentence. Mein transform karenge. Okay, so I am going to write it. What? What a pretty dress. हम बोलते हैं ना अपने फ्रेंड्स को बोलते हैं अपनी मामा से बोलते हैं जब हमें उनकी ड्रेस बड़ी अच्छी लगती है तो हम क्या बोलते हैं ओ वाह व्हाट अ प्रिटी ड्रेस कितनी सुंदर ड्रेस है राइट सो वी आर शोइंग हैप्पीनेस वी आर शोइंग एक्साइटमेंट ओके सो द सेंटेंस इज गोइंग टू एंड विद अ एक्सक्लेमेशन मार्क एक्सक्लेमेशन मार्क ओके व्हाट अ प्रिटी ड्रेस ओके सो इट्स एंडिंग विद अ एक्सक्लेमेशन मार्क so these are the jumble words जिनको हमने rearrange किया words को rearrange किया and we have written a complete sentence which is giving us a complete sense and ending with an with an exclamation mark so this is correct sentence next one is next one is is very is okay so Tom very is intelligent answer will be Tom is very Tom is very intelligent Tom bohat hoshiyar hai intelligent hai Okay. So this is the correct sentence. Group of words, complete meaning, and ending with a full stop. So this is a complete sentence that I have made from the jumble words given above. Okay. 
Now I hope the introduction of sentences is clear to you. Also the topic jumbled sentences is clear now. Now I am going to share you a worksheet which you are going to do in your English notebook. Write the date, day, name of the chapter as well as the name of the topic. I'll see you in the next class with more sentences to practice. Till then, bye-bye and take care.